So I started off in the uh, development schemes at under eight level and then uh, went on a six week trial at seven and got signed for my first contract here when I was eight, I think, into the under nines. And then every year I've worked my way up to uh, under 14s where you decide whether you get your under 15 slash 16 contract, which is a bit of a step up from the rest of the contracts uh, when you're younger. There was a bit of, of a debate whether I'd be tall enough and big enough to uh, cope with playing up a year with under 15 slash 16 football. So I played a extra year down, dropped back down into the under 14s for a season, which I think really helped my development as a player, it gave me more time to mature and uh, grow and you know get stronger. And then I came back in and I played my under 16 season with the under 16s again. Obviously you're working and trying to get your scholarship. I had a year basically to try and work as hard as I could to get my scholar. Um, my apprenticeship to make it more, more of a full-time thing. It got to a crunch time and, and I was on the, on the balance whether or not I would get a contract and it was between me and another central midfield player and at the time he was, you know, he was doing a bit better than me. So I got told I had two months to really prove them wrong and you know, uh, show why I deserve my contract. So I went away at Christmas and over the break, the Christmas break, I worked really hard, um, did extra gym, extra running, extra bits and bobs to you know, work really hard and I came back fitter, stronger and then my footballing ability really just helped me through for the rest of it and I managed to get my scholarship. My first year scholar, where you come in, you do training every day. We lived in a lodge, so it was a good environment to live in. All the boys lived together. Uh, it was a tight-knit group. We came in every day, trained hard, worked hard together. I think we played every Saturday, obviously, like all academies. And I wasn't really getting enough game time or as much as I would have liked to have get. Again, so it was a bit more of a setback on, on my career as, as, of, as of then. I managed to work, work hard enough to get myself back into, into the team for a start. And lucky, luckily enough for me, there was the first team manager and coaching staff watching. And I happened to have a really good game. And uh, from then on, I got called back uh, to train with the first team. I made my first team debut at 16 and 199 days, I think. So I think I was the second youngest player to play for Southampton and ever since then I've just pushed on in the first team really.